Hey guys, welcome back. Another hot day in the park. Breaking a sweat already. Today we're moving camp again from Lataba down to Satara via Olifants. One of our favorite uh, way stops, I think. One day I will book accommodation in Olifants and stay there at the top of the hill. But it's quite a popular camp, so it's hard to get to. Um, still no lions or hyena or any big cats, leopard, cheetah. They seem to be eluding us. But hopefully today we'll run into some. We got two days in Satara, so at some point we need to connect with the, you know, some big con carnivore, even the wild dogs. Um, but yeah, let's see how it's going. So we're gonna go down the S94, S46 up to Olifants, and then uh, from there we'll make our way down to Satara again. But first, we're going to stop and try and get some wood hoopos that are here at the reception at Latava Camp. Alright guys, so we just stopped at uh, Olifants for a quick breakfast. Now we're gonna make our way down to Satara. Uh, quiet morning, but we've uh, kept the streak unbroken in terms of the birding and new birds with a white, white-headed vulture. Yeah, white-headed vulture. Yeah. And you got the shikra. And then also. I got a shikra for myself. So I've got two new species today. Prashin has one. 
Uh, yesterday, I didn't get any new species, but Prashin got cutthroat finches. So the streak for the, the car is still going almost. Quite morning otherwise, and we keep missing all the big animals, but uh, we're gonna head down to Satara now, and maybe the afternoon will be a bit better. Oh, you check that. No, you Okay guys, so we're in a, I think it's a VG2 unit, F154, so F circle, I think this is the fourth time we've stayed in F circle. These counter, counter intuitive doors always get me. And now what? Oh! Sticky door. Two beds. Sink. Bathroom shower. Almost exactly the same as uh, the Taba. Only I think a little bit different shower. But otherwise very much the same. Fridge is in the cage outside small kitchenette I think so yeah small kitchenette fridge no utensils here in Satara no stove here in Satara either so we'll be using our gas stove rice pot right out in front and I'm sure what uh, will prove to be good for birding in terms of the trees later in the afternoon but let's see how it goes maybe we'll get a scops or a pearl, spot, a pearl spotted okay we're gonna unpack rest up and then head out for the afternoon drive how's it guys so we out on the afternoon drive rolling down the uh, main road 
from Satara south. Uh, we're heading towards the Inwanetsi picnic spot because we got a tip from a fellow traveler that uh, there's some lions on the side of the road and we checked the sightings board and uh, that was confirmed. So we're gonna try and make a beeline to them. Hopefully we can get to them, you know, in the next half an hour or so. It's just gone three o'clock. And then uh, once we get there, we'll see, you know, how good a sighting it is, take some photos and then maybe make our way back on the tar road and then do the S100. Or if, uh, you know, the time is looking like it's gone a bit late, we'll uh, head up the uh, from the picnic spot to the S100 on the other end of the S100. Um, there's a bit of haze in the sky. I think there was a bit of a fire further south of Satara that's uh, caused the sky to be a bit hazy. And it seems like, you know, every time I come to Satara, there's a fire somewhere. Um, So hopefully it doesn't affect the, you know, the photography and the light too much, but uh, you know, we'll have to see how that goes. We may get uh, darker a little bit earlier, so we must try to aim to be back at Satara before half past six, because that's gate closing time. What is that brushing? There was a white bird that just picked something off and went in. Is this tree up? It went into the bush there. Well, oh, maybe it would have been, <coughs> maybe it would have been the woodlands. Uh, woodlands or uh, white rice cow robin? Maybe, I don't know. Picked off an insect? Yeah. Maybe. Um, so yeah, we're making a, a, a quick uh, trip out. It's like 35, 36 degrees. It's been hot in the park. So maybe that's why the fire started uh, the wind was up earlier on so it could have been sparked by you know grass rubbing against each other in this heat um it's good to be back at satara in and around satara area uh different landscape to where we've been coming from no more mopanis i think uh, i've mentioned it before but once you get south of Oliphants, the Mopani felt gives way to um, Thorny felt. So, uh, you know, the, the, the trees and the grassland is, is different. So hopefully we get these lions and um, they give us a good photo photography opportunity. And then uh, we'll uh, see what we can do the rest of the afternoon. So it seems we've arrived a little bit too late because all that remains of the lions is this dried up lion poop. Okay, so that uh, tip was maybe true for this morning, but uh, the lions aren't here anymore. So we're just going to go down to Swanee Dam quickly and uh, see if you can see anything there and if not then uh, we'll make a call on which way we head uh, down the S100. So we came to the Swaney Hyde, a quick stop and then we're going to go back up to the S100 again. Okay guys, so we're on the S100 now, a little bit later than we expected, we ran into a couple of elephants along the way. Why we drive the S100 in the afternoon is, as you can see, we're driving away from the sun. So we can photograph ahead of us 
on both sides and still have good light behind us. In the morning tomorrow we'll drive on the S126 uh, which is uh, in the opposite direction because as the sun rises it will be behind us and then we can do the same thing tomorrow on the S126 and in the afternoon we'll drive the S100 again. I think uh, taking light direction into consideration is important when you photographing stuff in the bush because you want optimal light but sometimes you know you have to shoot against against the light and then you have to work around make a silhouette or underexposed so that you can pull out shadows various workarounds so let's see what we can see and then we've got two hours one hour down the road one hour back up to get back in time for the camp closing Hey guys, so it's uh, almost gone 6.30 and we're back in camp. Eventful afternoon birding with some additional lifers, some great shots hopefully. We'll edit and you'll see them in the video. And there's a marabou stop on a tree there. People are just stopping for a silhouette. So yeah. I think this is a wrap for day seven or eight in the park. Another brilliant birding day. And hopefully we can replicate it tomorrow, which is going to be our last full day in the park.